Is there any way to prevent abscesses from forming within perianal fistula tracts or how to get rid of them? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, so um, how to get rid of an abscess? If you do have an abscess, um, it's either antibiotics and, um, and surgical drainage. Those are the two most important ways to get rid of the abscess. And you can use a combination of both. Again, I use liberal amounts of antibiotics. So unlike most other conditions, whether it's a skin infection or a, a, a respiratory tract infection where antibiotics might be given for a week, I typically give antibiotics for a month or two months or three months. Um, when you have an abscess, um, if it, it can be dangerous because it can lead to sepsis. So um, surgical drainage is often required. Um, if you have abscess and you get frequent abscess, the way one of the strategies that can be used to prevent them is the placement of cetons, which we, we discussed. So those are those threads that get placed through the fistula tract. They come out the, your, your anal canal, they're tied together and they stay in place. And again, the rationale for that is if you prevent closure of the external opening, of the, of the fistula tract, it will allow drainage to occur and it won't allow the infection to accumulate. So those are possible ways, but ultimately we would hope to heal the fistula tract completely so that these abscesses don't, um, don't recur. And that can be through medications such as Remicade or Humira, possibly the other biologics maybe local surgical intervention. And then hopefully we, we get access to um, mesenchymal stem cells or some of these other um, treatments.